Evening browsers, it's your main man Shoe Browser here, back with a re-upload. I originally shot this video the other day, so I might sound clip or video clip that video right there. But unfortunately, the file was corrupted, so I had to reshoot it. But anyway, we have the Jordan One Stage Hayes 2022. All right, this is the Stage Hayes Jordan One. Okay, so I want to bring out this retail review. I did get this shoe from Foot Locker. Shot Foot Locker. Allow me to get that retail review. Had this shoe for some time, but I wanted to make sure I brought you that retail review because I like to do that for y'all regardless if it's late or not okay this shoe was originally scheduled to come out in the month of july once they finally had all the shipments and stuff come in but uh originally it was supposed to come out back in may or june one of those days so you know there it is but let's actually get it on in so as we see we got that cracked leather this shoe is also doing a cracked leather feature the same thing that's going to be on the rear match chicago's coming out in the future and also the uh vault jordan ones that came out the other day all right Got white leather on the toe box, standard white leather, very soft. Comes with black laces. Okay, not long tongue with that bleach coral. It's the Nike Air. This shoe was kind of like a two pack edition because it was a low top edition that came out along with it called the bleach coral lows. Comes with bleach coral laces, all right, and also white laces. Standard white leather on the side. Okay, that cracked leather right there going up. Got that white, Ooh, white up here on the top. Okay, almost like on the uh, Electro Orange Jordan ones with that Air Jordan. Yeah. Got that gray, kind of suede on the back. No real movement to it, but you know, kind of ashy. All right. Crack leather against the top. Almost as like this shoe is aged, but it really ain't. You know, everything's vintage these days. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, let's go to the inside. All right, you got Nike Air right there. This is a size 11, personal size. If I can kind of focus that right there. Size 11, got that Nike Air in black. It's that Beach Coral um, shoe insert. And let's see if I can get the tag for y'all. Let's actually see what that says. So this shoe was produced December 21 through 03, 22, so March 22nd, okay? Yeah, man, very, very fly, simple kind of shoe. Okay, it also does come with this tag right here, just like on the vaults. It says, please note natural crack seen on this upper is normal due to the random crackle ink application. Okay. Now, in my personal opinion, I think this shoe is very nice. It is very simple. Um, the crack leather thing, I'm not really a big fan of, but it's actually not really bad on these. So I'm not really tripping on that. I just like the basic colorway. I can, you know, rock this with just, you know, regular clothes. A retail was 180 yeah no 170 so after taxes was 184 and nine cents in my personal opinion I think it's a dope shoe it's not really selling too much right now in terms of resale but you know once again we don't cop shoes just for the resale so I think if you want an easy Jordan one to wear with most of your clothes I mean great back to school shoe for some of your kids I definitely would go with it I do think down the line because it's so basic usually the basic colorway Jordan ones do go up so you know if you do like this sneaker go ahead and get it while it's a fairly decent price before it becomes too too high but uh, you know if you don't want to cop it because maybe you're just tired of seeing this colorway and when I say seeing this colorway right this shoe also does remind me of this sneaker right here and that is the smoke gray Jordan ones that we had in 2020 all right this is my personal pair of smoke grays uh, I still have a DS because I'm actually waiting to wear this when I go back to my place of work but you can see how these two shoes are very similar in terms of the you know the heel block we got the red up there which is actually a nicer quality of leather as compared to that one and we also have that foam instead of that crack but still kind of that age distress kind of thing all right so i'm gonna just kind of move these so we can see the difference you know what i'm talking about but yeah you know i think it's i think these colorways are getting kind of redundant i mean they kind of change them a little bit but you know if you already have these maybe you don't need these you know what i'm talking about whatever floats your boat 
but it's your main man shoe browser let me know what you think of this review i did have to redo it so hopefully this one comes out a little bit better and you know thanks out for supporting my videos man i really appreciate it and as always we are gone